CPAC, uh, that is the largest gathering of conservatives, it's in Washington. All the Republican presidential candidates are going down there, almost all of them except for Ron Paul. Uh, and there's some conspiracy theories about how they want to keep him out of the straw poll because he wins every time. Uh, and uh, they're all down there, but that's not the interesting part. The interesting part is the other people that have been invited to CPAC to give you a sense of what this uh, convention is all about. Uh, first of all, Peter Brimlow is going there. He happens to be a white nationalist, and um, he runs uh, VDARE, which some groups have ca characterized as not just racist but also anti Semitic, so that's fun. Uh, also, uh, another guy who uh, supports VDARE is Marcus Epstein. He's now formed his own uh, separate group, Youth for Western Civilization. Okay, in case that's not clear enough, uh, here is what he did in 2007. He went up to a random African American woman in Washington, yelled the N word at her, and then karate chopped her. I'm not kidding, he karate chopped her. Okay? Uh, by the way, she kicked his ass and called the police. Uh, we've had him on the show before. He is clown of the earth. Okay? He thinks everything is black people's faults. Okay, you can watch that interview on TYT interviews. So, this guy, of course, open with uh, welcome with open arms. Uh, birther leader Joseph Farah, who had uh, previously been rejected from CPAC, is now again welcomed in, uh, welcome aboard. All the crazies are on the crazy train, and we go forward. Now, Family Research Council is a social conservative group, uh, and of course, they hate gay people. They hate gay people so much that when CPAC invited Go Proud, which is a GOP gay group, uh, they were so livid. How can you even have any gays at this conference that they refused to come? Well, don't worry, Go Proud now has been evicted from the conference and Family Research Council is back on. Now, look, I'm actually less worried about who they invite and who's coming because that's harder to control. So if somebody says, I'm going to come to whatever conference you're doing, it's tough to say, hey, you know what, we're not going to let you uh, come, right? Now, that's my first instinct. But as you just heard, actually, it doesn't work that way at CPAC. The way that it works is if they don't want you to come, they say, don't come. So when it was uh, gay Republicans who have been helping the Republican Party all along, pretending that the Republicans are not anti-gay, and you know, and buttressing them with funding, uh, voters, uh, you name it, right? They're like, no, no, you are not allowed to come. So when they allow the others to come and they evict uh, Go Proud, well, then you get a sense of uh, the fact that they're actually making these decisions very actively. It's not like, oh, look at that, Joseph Farah happened to walk in, or Peter Brimelow. Uh, happen to walk in or Marcus Epstein happen to karate chop someone. No, <laughs> this, these are active decisions by uh, this group, which is in extremist, it's fringe, but within the Republican Party, unfortunately, it's now become mainstream. Uh, this is the way to go. Now, one uh, interesting side note on this, Google is sponsoring CPAC. Now, why on God's green earth are they doing that? Well, they claim that it's because you know half the people that go are under the age of 25 and look we want to be open to conservatives liberals whoever it might be now that sounds really reasonable that's the kind of thing that i would agree with right uh... except as you see here this is a murderous row of clowns misfits and racists that are going to CPAC right uh... so why is google still uh, endorsing it because they have to pay a bribe Look, i'm gonna keep it real with you guys why do you think they did SOPA and PIPA? The Stop Online Piracy Act that could have destroyed Google, let alone all the other websites like Reddit, Facebook, Twitter, because all you need is one link, and if you have one link that leads to anything that's pirated, they can shut down entire websites, including search engines like Google. So what did Google have to do? They were forced into it. In fact, Pat Leahy, the Democrat uh, who helped to uh, push that bill forward, said it's basically the Pat Leahy Job Creation Act for K Street, meaning that, hey, hey you tech companies, you're not paying enough bribes uh, to us politicians and to the lobbyists, so now we're going to get as much money out of you as we normally get out of the entertainment industry. So Google had to go around sponsoring all these right-wing things like the Heritage Foundation, uh, CPAC, and the list goes on and on. We've done another story on it before. And the reason they're doing that is they got to pay their bribe. They uh, contribute to Democrats, they, now they have to contribute not just to Republicans, but to these hideous think tanks and organizations that bring in the extremists from all over the country and unite them because, hey, if they don't pay the bribe, Washington comes to get them. It's sick the way our system works.